Okay, howdy folks, this is part three of Gambit Assassination Game. Uh, let me see what we've got here. Uh, looks like Remy's being grabbed out by various villains. We've got Bullseye, Sabretooth, Eyeball Fella, Constrictor, and possibly Belladonna, who knows. So, ooh, they were in the building when it exploded, if you remember last time's episode. So he's alive with his ex-wife. So here we go, flashback to the wedding, yada yada yada. There's people on top trying to help them out. Remy's still alive. I can feel them together. Hmm, okay. But she's not sure of the condition. They're pulling out over the, before the cops arrive here, yeah, of course. The Crystal Cathedral of Newson. What now? What did Newson bring me here? To see quiet Bill using his mutant powers to look into alternative realities. Miss Kevin, I mean Mister, I think. It gets confusing, Huey. Just call me Courier. The Courier's now a chick. New son's been riding Quiet Bill awfully hard, making him open doorways for hours without rest. Maybe I can find out why. <laughs> you have displayed an unacceptable level of attitude of late, Jacob. And you started sounding like a Bond villain. <laughs> Not to mention this insane search engine you have hooked up looking for alternate realities. Or the fact that you were the one that sanctions Gambit's murder. You disagree, but you'll do nothing about it. Okay, it looks like there's a fight going down. Assassins versus other assassins. Who will win? And we've got Red Leotard Lady versus Blue Leotard someone or other. I'm assuming that's... yes. <laughs> Help me score the million box books and I'll let you dweebs live. Are they going to ambush them? What's going on? Yep, they've got one. Shinup. Shinup her. That's good. Batrock approaches. Ah, die Batrock. Ah, dainty little girl feet. And now, what's this? Captain America attacks, but of course it's one of those mutants creating the images again. You think Captain America is going to scare me? Oh, he knows about their powers. Something's making me feel like I'm about to barf. Collapses. You distracted the crossbones long enough for my magics to disorientate him. Magics cannot be a word. That sounds fucking stupid. Magics. My god. It's almost as bad as that word often times. Why don't you say often? You sound like a fucking retard if you say often times. Mm, the more you know. Okay, they're still trapped under the uh, building. And it looks like they're about to get it on. They've made Gambit look like Alec Baldwin in this comic for some reason. Okay. Carl Dente. Otherwise known as Al Dente. Hmm. Scanner indicates the bow is trapped. Well alive. So what do I do? Let the NYPD arrest him? <laughs> she's figured out she still loves him. Interlude 2. It's good to be king. Hey Wilson, stop bleeding over my new desk, will you? So what's this? This is Bullseyes. He's taken over all crime, killed the kingpin. And now he's got a bunch of bitches around. She's a dream therapist. She's asking him to spare Gambit. I take it. Hmm, let's see. He's got a contract to finish. He tells her no. So what have we got? Oh, looks like they've found a way through the rubble. They're climbing through. They hark back to when they were kids. She was a little girl. Distracting the shop owner while Remy stole some candy. It looks like Rogue stole all the memories of she has of um, she had of Gambit, so she'd know him better. Damn, that is a nice ass. Okay, now see they used to know how to draw females back then. And yada 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 yada. What's this? Is she falling? Wait, is he building up his energy? What's going on? Discharging the molecules beneath them. Does he use his power? I think he did. I think he blew up the molecules above them. Somehow they survived. What are we getting out of this? We're both going to carve out a little slice of normal for ourselves. I would prefer not to do this, but I don't have any choice. I'm going to have to let the use of the full extent of my powers. Ah, so he wasn't given new powers. His powers were just restored. When he was a small mutant just coming into his powers, his powers were far too dangerous. And a mutant doctor, we found out to be sinister. Helped him step down the power so he could actually use them without like blowing up buildings and stuff all the time. So, yeah, all he had to do in return was 
pick a lock that was defending the Morlocks from a surprise attack. And of course he, he inadvertently helped in the Morlock mutant massacre. He glows like the sun. Boom. Big, 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 big blast. Indeed, Jacob. Strange though, when a kind of shade, the assassination game is about forcing Remy to escalate the use of his powers. Thinking that to save his own life he would have no choice. But he ended up not doing it for himself, but for the love of another. Shows how well you know him. I don't know him at all, Jacob. He's always just been a dilemma to me. It's dawn on the East Coast and the contract has expired. Contact the remaining operatives and call them off. This man is working on assignment and commission of the superhuman activity. So, Carl Dente steps in and prevents him from being arrested for being thieves, assassins and mutant terrorists and so on and so forth. And they all go to some shithole apartment and, I don't know, have a party or something. Let's just say I survived. Everyone should go back home now. I've got some X-Men business to take care of. And then I'll fly down to New Orleans and figure out how we get this unification thing going. Now they're finally together again. Oh. And then Angel swoops in and takes him away. Swoosh. What's this? X-Men movie? It's here. It's finally here. It sure is.